Okay, welcome back. In this video here, we're going to be looking at our choke here. The choke does not release when you put it on. After you start it, the choke does not come off and, and the engine starts to sputter. You have to take it off by hand and that's not going to work. So we're going to look at that. We're going to be taking this piece here off. I've seen before with a new carburetor that the choke rubs on something and it doesn't release. So we're going to tear this apart real quick see what's causing this problem. Alright, so right here is our choke plate, and when you close this, it sticks. It, it doesn't open like that. Now it is. With this here on, it, it sticks. It, it's hitting something in here. We're going to slide this back on one. Well, the carburetor's not even tight. This is the one I got that I did uh, repair the loose valve seat. The valve seat popped out. And the carburetor was already replaced and I had to make some adjustments there's a whole nother video on on fixing getting this running right after I put it back together I guess I should have just checked the carburetor completely because this bolt here was not even tight so now we're gonna put this back on here right like it fits there and when I do that it moves very hard so that's closed and it doesn't want to open and now it opens no problem so as soon as this part here either up either up top here or down below starts to open it needs to go inside of here so I'm going to take a file and open this up a little bit So I'm going to open this up a little bit on this side over here with this half round file. I did have a smaller one. I can't find it. But this one's going to work good enough. And we're going to open it up on the top a little bit. Same area. Same size. Now I need to go clean this with some carb cleaner. Alright, so we got this opened up a little bit. Let's put it back on and see what happens. Now it's not sticking at all. Because it's able to, this part's able to fit inside of here. I've seen this before. This isn't the first time I've run into this with a replacement carburetor. It can be very frustrating because you put it on and you're really not sure why it sticks. So you look at the linkage, make sure the linkage isn't hitting anything. And you try and take a little plastic off of that. And it ends up being that it doesn't fit inside this this uh, adapter here put this back on these are 7 16 nuts which if you have this problem you would have most likely already figured that out because you had to take them off to do the carburetor but if you happen to buy one of these and the choke is not releasing and you know you don't really know what all they did if they change the carburetor it's a good chance that this was the problem that the choke was not releasing, not coming off. So we'll put this cover back on and try it with the throttle lever, see how it works. So now we're all back together there. Put the throttle up all the way. So now the choke is on, and as soon as I put the throttle down, this, this rod here goes back, the arm releases, the choke comes off right away. So we'll start it up quick here and make sure that it actually 
actually comes off while it's running. And that's a wrap on that. Uh, it's just a quick video to show you that something you could easily run into and really maybe not figure it out right away but that's what usually is the problem when you have that so this will be a quick video here but you know there's always going to be more like this with little things that i find to help pass along information that so you don't have to struggle to figure it out so you know something something like this helps you out like and subscribe thank you